The Philippines is a beautiful country with warm people, stunning beaches, and a low cost of living. With over 7,000 islands, each offering its own unique charm, it's no wonder more and more people are choosing to live here. Whether you're looking to retire, work remotely, or just experience a new culture, the Philippines has something for everyone. But before you pack your bags, it's smart to understand what your expenses will be. The cost of living can vary greatly depending on your lifestyle and location. This guide will break down the cost of living in the Philippines, giving you a clear picture of what to expect. From housing and utilities to food and entertainment, we'll cover it all. And this is just a, an estimated budget to give you an idea. And keep in mind that prices can fluctuate and it's always good to have a little extra saved up uh, for unexpected expenses. Your actual spending will depend on your lifestyle choices and where you choose to live. Do you prefer the hustle and bustle of city life or the tranquility of island living? Cities like Manila will be more expensive than smaller towns or islands. However, even in the city, you can find affordable options if, if you know where to look. So, get ready to discover the Philippines and all it has to offer. Rent is usually your biggest expense, no matter where you live. This is true, whether you're in a bustling metropolis or a quiet rural area. The good news is, Rent in the Philippines is very affordable, especially compared to Western countries. This affordability makes it an attractive destination for expats, retirees, and digital nomads looking to stretch their budget. A one bedroom apartment in a city center might cost you 300 to $500 per month. These apartments are often modern with amenities like swimming pools, gyms, and 24-hour security. You can find even cheaper options as low as $200 if you're willing to live a bit outside the city center. These areas offer, offer a um, quieter uh, uh, lifestyle and um, are often just a, a short commute away from the hustle and bustle. If you want more space, or luxury, a three bedroom apartment in a nice area could cost $700 to $1,200 per month. These luxury apartments often come with high end finishes, spacious layouts, and stunning views. But overall, you'll find that you get a lot more space for your money in the Philippines. Whether you're looking for a cozy studio or a sprawling penthouse. The value for money is hard to beat. The variety of options ensures that there's something for everyone, regardless of budget or lifestyle preferences. Utilities are another important expense to consider. Electricity in the Philippines is not as cheap as in some Southeast Asian countries, but it's still reasonable. Expect to pay around 50 to $80 per month for electricity if you're living in a one bedroom apartment. Internet is very affordable in the Philippines. You can get a reliable internet connection with unlimited data for around 20 to $30 per month. Water is also cheap, costing only around five to $10 per month. Food is very affordable in the Philippines, especially if you're buying local produce and eating at local restaurants. You can easily spend as little as $150 to $200 per month on groceries if you cook most of your meals at home. Local markets are the cheapest places 
to buy groceries and you'll find a wide variety of fresh fruits, vegetables, meat, and seafood. Section 5. A taste of the Philippines. Dining out. Eating out is also very affordable in the Philippines. You can enjoy a delicious meal at a local restaurant for as little as two or three dollars. If you want something a bit fancier, you can still find great meals for under ten dollars. Of course, if you eat at Western restaurants or fancy establishments, your costs will be higher. But overall, dining out in the Philippines is easy on the wallet. Section six, getting around transportation costs. Transportation is another area where you can save money in the Philippines. Jeepneys, the most common form of public transportation, are incredibly cheap, costing less than 50 cents per ride. Buses are also a good option for longer distances and are very affordable. Taxis and ride hailing services like Grab are more expensive, but still relatively cheap compared to Western prices. A grab ride within the city will usually cost you around two to five dollars. Section seven, staying connected. Phone plans. Staying connected is easy and affordable in the Philippines. Globe Telecom is one of the major providers and they offer a variety of prepaid and postpaid plans. You can get a prepaid SIM card with data for as little as $5, which will give you enough data for basic browsing and social media. If you need more data or want unlimited calls and texts, you can get a postpaid plan for around $15 to $30 per month. The Philippines has excellent mobile coverage, even in rural areas. Section 8. The extras, visas, and more. If you're planning to stay in the Philippines long term, you'll need to factor in the cost of visa extensions. Visa extensions can vary in price depending on your nationality and the length of your stay, but expect to budget around $30 to $60 per extension. It's also a good idea to budget for some miscellaneous expenses, such as entertainment, personal care, and unexpected costs. You can easily spend $100 to $200 per month on these things, depending on your lifestyle. Section 9. Making it work. Budgeting tips and final thoughts. As you can see, it's possible to live very comfortably in the Philippines on a modest budget. The cost of living here is significantly lower compared to many Western countries, allowing you to stretch your money further and enjoy a higher quality of life. To make your money go even further, consider these tips. Embrace local living. Eat at local restaurants. Shop at local markets and take public transportation whenever possible. Local eateries offer delicious and affordable meals and public transport is both economical and efficient. Negotiate. Don't be afraid to negotiate prices, especially for things like rent and souvenirs. Bargaining is a common practice in the Philippines and you can often get better deals by simply asking. Cook at home. Eating out is cheap, but cooking at home is even more affordable. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to learn and enjoy traditional Filipino recipes, which can be a fun and rewarding experience. Remember to factor in savings and an emergency fund. It's important to have a financial cushion to fall back on in case of unexpected expenses. Aim to save at least 10% of your income and have three to six months worth of living expenses saved 
for unexpected events. This will give you peace of mind and financial security. With careful planning and a sense of adventure, you can enjoy a fantastic life in the Philippines without breaking the bank, explore the beautiful landscapes, immerse yourself in the rich culture, and make the most of your time in this wonderful country. By following these budgeting tips, you'll be well on your way to a fulfilling and financially stable life in the Philippines.